this culture also is against marriage. There's not, I think Bree's talked about it, you've talked about it. Marriage right now, there's very little benefit to it. There's more risk to marriage than there ever really was because our culture is against it. If, a, if we get into marriage right now, like you keep saying, if a woman gets married, if she's only a quarter chance, she only got a one in four chance of getting married, right? If she gets married, she's probably going to be the one to leave it. 70% 70 out of that 25%. So she's not even happy with the relationship. So for a, from a woman's perspective, even if I do get married, I'm lucky. I'm one in four if I get married. But if I do get there, I'm not happy. And let's most people don't take accountability. So it's something wrong with the God. Or I chose, let's say they do, I chose wrong. Either way, I'm not happy and I'm not about to live the only life I have unhappy, which is fair. Like that's why I don't even like that talking point. It's fair to not live your life unhappy. I mean, it's fair to not take that and sacrifice the rest of your life because you made one poor choice when you were younger. I'm just gonna stay in it. I'm gonna stay looking like that. I'm gonna stay looking like a loser. Like not. Nah, I no, I wouldn't I wouldn't tell any woman to stay don't stay taking the L. I wouldn't tell the dude to stay taking the L. We need to grow. Once you make one mistake, grow from that mistake so that you're not making the same mistake. Unfortunately though, we're so far back. Like I said, we're we're trying to choose people based on their domestic skills. So that means you're gonna make the first mistake by choosing based on looks. Let's say the first mistake, you're gonna choose to make based on looks. Man, bump my head. I better choose, I better make a better choice next time. Well, now I'm choosing on domestic skills. Well, that didn't work out. She could cook, man, but she was mean. So the next time you're gonna get on temperament. But the temperament, oh, they're gonna be kind, but they're gonna be um, petty, underhanded and manipulative. So then you gotta choose character. That's your fourth major relationship if you learn from each time that's if you learn so you're talking about four major how far into your life are you if you've had four major relationships and learning from those mistakes and most people don't learn that way most people it was the other person's fault i'm not taking anything from it that's why people that's why marriage is so unsuccessful and the more successful marriages are further into your life because we're so far back in our development we're not coming out at 18 prepared for a relationship I think marriage would be more successful if you could sign a 10-year commitment. The marriage is, is only good for 10 years and you can renew it. Five. No, I, I would long. say 10 years. When it comes to kids, that's the issue really is when you have start having children. You know, you start having children. But I think every 10 years, it will be, be cool to uh, re see if you if y'all both mutually wanna, don't want to renew it. There shouldn't be no penalty of divorce. No, I mean, well, that's kind of what divorce is. So, I mean, if y'all can at any well, moment, if you just say, I don't want to continue for it with you. Um, right back, but I also think that's the problem of like people not feeling like they have to, you know, like people who say you have to choose your marriage every day to keep choosing your partner. I think that mindset uh, said does go a long way. Just never getting complacent. It's just a complacency thing, I think. Uh, really keeps people back and or just like your partner having to push you to be like not trash it just gets tiring you know like you hear people talk about it on panels like oh how long is your wife gonna be in her hormones before you call it quits it's like you will hope that you would get with a person who can self-regulate enough to be like i'm terrible right now maybe i should like not be terrible like <laughs> You know, a little bit goes a long way. That's for me, like, that's always been the saving grace of, like, me just being like, shit, I'm tired of being terrible. Maybe I should, like, you know, try to fix it. I mean, my husband, of course, can give me gentle pushes, but none of those gentle pushes have ever been as good as just me being a good person and being able to self-regulate. Or at least have, haven't been enough of my best self to know when I'm not my best self. So maybe it's also that problem, like people getting into relationships and never like seeing themselves or being with themselves long enough to know it's you, not the other person. Cause like I'm moody as fuck. And like, I never really thought I was until I lived by myself. And then I was like, oh, I'm still moody. Like, it's just me. Like, I'm just moody. No one's even here and I'm irritated today. So now, you know, there's something that I don't get to offload on my husband because I know I'm moody as fuck because I live by myself. But a lot of people are just monkey branching, you know, out of their parents' house into a relationship to the next relationship, never getting to be by themselves a little bit. Unrelated to even, you know, no, being by yourself does not necessarily mean being 
in smaller relationships, the whole phase, whatever y'all, you know, like be by yourself, get an apartment. Like I would tell my daughters that get your own place. Now, whether you had an experience in college where you're taking care of yourself and you go live in a dorm and you pay whatever, or you get your, I would definitely say, go live by yourself before you get married. Get your own place, pay your own bills, buy your own toilet paper before you get married. I don't know, I think it's just helpful.